Hello, it's Joe Valick. I'm back. I need a haircut. I need to trim my beard. Same. But what do you get when a Neath boy, a Diff boy, and a Swansea boy walk into a camper van? Ooh. You get this. Luke Harvey. Hello. Mace the Great. Yes. Snowy from the south. What's going on? How are we all doing? Apologies for the rain, but we're in the van. Don't apologise. You can't do anything about it. That British is very weather, true. It? British weather. At least we're not in Wales, otherwise we'd be blaming Welsh weather. Right, I got I got a gift, uh, got a couple of gifts for you all. Gonna start off with you, Mace. Uh pull this one out. Here we go. Take a look and then show the camera what we've got. Robo 2037 tracks, including Craig David, Sonic Architects, Destiny's Child, LL Cool J, Cisco, DJ Luck and MC Neat, Casey and Jojo, Gabriel. Yo, yeah, sick. So I've got you this because obviously you were on 2022 Mobo Unsung Artist yes, of the Year. I was, yeah. But yeah. I want to know what, which was a prouder moment for you, being on the Mobo album, mm -hmm. Cardiff City using your track for their kit release, yeah, or your face being in Sports Direct. Ooh, Raz, yo! It's interesting you know about Sports Direct because that's <coughs> like... Um, biggest moment, right, is, okay. Is the smaller one on the side, if you like mine's like the bigger one. <laughs> <laughs> um, Are you in there too? Yeah, bigger, in the middle. Right. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Not small one on the side. <laughs> so what was it? Mo Mobo Sports Direct, what was the other one? Yeah, Cardiff City, using your track for their kit release. Oh, it'd have to be, it'd have to be Cardiff City, yeah. out of all of them, yeah. Yeah. Diff boy through and through. Yeah, but, yeah. <laughs> and and um, speaking of sports, um, in fact, I actually messed up that question, but I was gonna, what I was going to say was which was a prouder moment supporting Dizzy in Cardiff. So actually, can you tell us about supporting Dizzy Rascal yeah, in Cardiff? Yeah, no, that was definitely my proudest moment, 100%. Um, because How did that even happen? Just <coughs> seeing he was doing a show in Cardiff and just uh, my manager, Petty, just pushed for me to get on it. Um, spoke to the right people and got it over the line, bro, yeah. But um, yeah, it was... Uh, it was massive for me because obviously grew, grew up listening to Grimes who grew up listening to a lot of Dizzy as well. Um, I was in a group called Flow Dem and we went on a TV show and he was a judge on the show. Mm. And I, I, like I spoke to him on that show and then met him again on, mm -hmm. on the other show. So it was, it was mad bro, it was like a full circle thing, it was good. It must have been a great feeling, especially in your hometown as well. Now Snow, I've got a gift for you, uh, mm. perhaps a bit less um, Symbolic, but we've got. T tell us what we got and show the camera. Basement jacks, the singles. I know. I just know you love all kinds of music. You love yeah, country. You love rock. You love house and dance music. Everything, man. All, all different types of stuff. You man. love that. Oh, I've done some drum and bass stuff before. So yeah, man. Definitely, all different type of stuff. Oh man, big long, But if I want to draw your attention to track eleven, what's it called? Uh, you don't know me. Exactly, and we used to not know you because you used to wear the the ballet all the time. Yeah, well, and you're still wearing it now, but your face is out sometimes, there. Sometimes, sometimes my face is out there on my TikTok and stuff like that. But I think with the videos and stuff like that, um, I'm gonna try and keep it, try and keep it on the down. What, what, why the change? Why did you reveal your identity? I was just, I think it was more for the content side of things. I was trying to get more stuff done, and it's a lot more. Like sometimes it's a lot more effort when you, oh yeah, I haven't got a ballet club with me, I haven't got this, I haven't got that. So I thought, do you know what? Just, just get it out there in the end. So yeah, man. Nice. That's why. I do like the glasses as well. They're oh, a good addition. Thanks, bro. Cheers, man. Um, tell me about the time you met Gavinio. Oh yeah, I was pretty mad, man. I was in Tenerife. Uh, it was this no, last month, July. Uh, I went out there, done a few things as well. I uh, went out there for some work, but I was down on Veronica's strip party, didn't it? <laughs> and I've turned around and I seen Gavinio. And then the Bad Boy Chiller crew were there as well. Oh, were they there? I thought it was. Yeah, Bad Boy yeah, Kane and Clive and them lot. So. Um, Are they yeah, good fun? Yeah, they're, they're wild, they're wild, man. They're sound or they're calm, I was speaking to them for a bit, so it was nice to meet them on that, you get me? So, yeah, it was good. Were they on a madness? Absolute madness, bro. I swear, <laughs> madness. See me, I was there, I'm more of a chill guy, but they were on a, on a mad one. Well, when in Tenerife, anyway, what can you do? Gotta, gotta do what you gotta do, bro. Luke Harvey, no gifts for you. No, I'm just no, kidding. Just <laughs> I've got, got um, no, not much meaning behind this one. Jeez, Lamar. Big. Big, big, big Lamar, oh my days. Very big. I just thought that you might like Lamar, to be honest. Oh, I actually love Lamar. I'm, really, I'm trying to think how many songs I actually know on 50, this. 50-50, bro, big 50-50, Let's Stay Together, Hot Summer, both bangers. Yeah. Glad you like it. Now, completely <laughs> unrelated question. Um, tell me about the time you went to a Halloween party dressed as a dead Andy Murray. 
god, alive. How the fuck have you known that? <laughs> you, Andy Murray. That's yeah, I did that. go to a Halloween party dressed as an old Andy Murray. Dead Andy Murray, yeah. How do you work that? Do you know what? That sounds like a Facebook, which I'm I'm locked out of. So the fact that you, that's been uncovered is a, is slightly worrying. Yeah, I'll, um, I'll go find that. <laughs> so what was the thought set, process set behind yeah, what was it? What, tell me about the time. What, what was the thought process behind that? Obviously... As an avid tennis fan yeah. and as a as, as a proud Brit, um, what, are, what other options were there? Do you know what I mean? You just, do you know what I mean? I love Britain and I love tennis. So, yeah. oh. and I love zombies. What do you think's more higher, your love for cricket or your love for tennis? Ooh. We don't just like well, cricket. cricket he like loves that. it. Um, no, you know, is it your? Cricket he don't just guy? like cricket. He loves it. So I think Mason's love for cricket. <laughs> <laughs> You, any anything to say about your your love for cricket, Mason? Bro, yeah, um, I love the I love the cricket at the hundreds. So it's more like it's more like a it's more like speed dating but cricket. Do you get me? <laughs> so it's not it's not boring. It's just quick, bam, 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 five aside, boom, 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 boom. That so sounds good. For it kept though. me. Yeah. It was never a boring part. I was engaged all the way through, and I thought, oh, I don't mind cricket if it's like this. So yeah, yeah I'm a. I'm an advocate for cricket. Another another potentially boring sport, Luke, is chess. I know you you like chess, don't you? Does yep. does it help you think better? Do you know what? Chess helps. If I can't write like any music or something's not flowing, I definitely just get stuck into the chess because mm -hmm. it's like I've got like this need to be stimulated all the time, mm. and uh, I like competition. So yeah. chess is like, do you know what I mean? It's like the ultimate competition. Eight 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 by eight. Yeah. What more can you do? So, have you had any amazing chess comebacks? Bro, I've got some great ones on my phone. We can go through them. I'll talk you. <laughs> I'll, I'll talk you through each move. Um, I will do that in the, I wanna, the behind I, the scenes. I wanna, I wanna. This is um. This is actually a call out. I think he's higher. He's got a higher ELO than me, which is chess lingo for rating. But um, I wanna play Silla. I thought you might say that. Silla's yeah. a good. He's Bristol number one chess player slash rapper. Yeah, I think he's got a higher ELO than me, but I'm not scared one bit. I actually can't wait. I reckon you need to do some kind of like chess do you know what? slash grime clash. Yeah. Like speed chess, speed grime. I, I am thinking about doing like a little chess tour where I'm, I just post up and like, <laughs> just post up for the day with a chess board, do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, like the Grand Masters. Yeah. Now, back to Mace. Like um, tell me about, tell me more about M Dot. Oh, God. Um, that was, that was my... That was my name when I first started MCing in high school, in like when I was like in year eight. Yeah, yeah that was my name, bro. That's that was part part of Flow Dem, right? Which you yeah. already mentioned. Yeah, I was part. That was part of Flow Dem. Yeah, which was a group with um, me and a couple more of my friends from Cardiff and Newport. Yeah. And then you became Mace. Yes, and then I became Mace. And um, then the Great. And then Mace the Great. Yeah. And the the reason for the change is because. Um, my name's Mason, and I just wanted my name to be closer to real life, yeah. so I just went as Mace. But obviously, there's like Puffy and Mason and all that, so I had to get away from that, but still, yeah, keep it true to myself. So yeah, that's that's the story. Why the great and not like the brilliant or um, the I tall? Know, I don't know. I feel like one, it rhymes with Mace, yeah. and two, I feel like it's okay. a it's a true statement. Gorgeous, a bit like it. Close enough, I think. It a bit, yeah. Um, all right. Finish the lyric, Mace. If I work hard and don't get a reload. If I work hard, don't get a reload. Oh my God! I punch up a DJ or something like that. I don't know. Uh, I might punch, punch up a DJ, DJ still. still. I might punch up a DJ still. If I work hard and I don't get a reload, <coughs> then I might punch up a DJ yeah, still. Yeah, I did. Just but my memory's so bad. Just, but that's your cami with him. Look at this yeah. vest and a puffer jacket oh. with the fur. A vest on underneath one of them. That's crazy. Yeah, that's spoiled. That's, that's brilliant. Who, who remembers their first reload then? What are we talking reload like a show reload? Yeah, first product. Yeah, I, I was saying I, I did an hour drum and bass set. Yeah. Yeah, and I was going in, not a single reload. I did a 16 bar of absolute gibberish because I'd forgotten everything. <laughs> Instant wheel. Is that your first one? Or just your favourite one? And last, no. <laughs> <laughs> Snow, what about you? Oh uh, yeah, mine was in Sin City. We had um we just dropped Southside, so we had a load of people come through, we'd done a bit of marine and put a show on for it. Mm -hmm. And I think it was in Lean, and, and we dropped in. It was a pretty mad, it was a mad vibe. But yeah, I got a reload on that, and then from there then. 
good feeling. Right? I had a few for me, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a good feeling. I love a read up, man. Sometimes you're in the in the zones, you get me. So sometimes it can be a bit, uh, but other times, yeah, you just got to appreciate it. You know what I mean? And you, mate, do you remember? I don't remember my first reload, bro. But I, I don't know. I could. It was probably a a long time ago when Gats came to a place called the Star Centre, and I would have been performing on that. It was one of my earlier shows, one of my first shows I done. So it was probably. That's also where you did your first ever show, right? Yeah, that was my first ever show, Star Centre, yeah. Must be a special place. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> and now, back to you, Luke. Um, what did you and Scott Disick talk about? Oh, my. Do you know what Scott Disick said to me? Yo, you spoke, you to, spoke Scott to Scott Disick? Disick yeah, Scott man. Disick said, gee, bro. How do you know? <laughs> yeah, this guy flex. He's just, just Yeah, uh, me and Scott were hanging out in a. Uh, <laughs> oh my god! In the Don't give it all out, bro. Fiction, fiction nightclub. <laughs> I was uh, I was working. I was eighteen. Yeah. He came to do an appearance, and I was tasked with like, sort of getting drinks for him. Basically, standing close to him if he wanted a drink. Like I'd have to run back to the bar, and he said to me, "So oh, what did he say? He said, um, hey, we're in Wales, right?'" I'm gonna fuck a girl who's 300 pounds. <laughs> Yo, fair play. Genuine. He's, from, he's from America, though, right? I would so, like to think so. Yeah, he he did an American accent. Yo, but yeah. He gen genuinely that said that. that. I, I was like, yeah, okay, man. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> was he with Courtney then? Them times? Yeah, yeah probably. Wild, yeah. Yeah. Big in the game, it. like. Yeah, do you, know, do you know what? After he said the joke to me, he must have used me as a sounding board because he then said the joke to the whole crowd. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he brought, yo, that went down well with Luke. I'm going to run that yeah, again. Me a, yeah, no, I panned both times. But I sold him a bit of hope with it. Nice. <laughs> that's, a, that's a good memory. Yeah, no, I got a, I got a picture of it. I'll show you in a minute. Yeah. Cool. Uh, Snowy. Snow. Snow, snow. Snow's calm, bro. Snow's calm. Snow, yeah, yeah. I keep saying snow. You know what it is, yeah? It's because a couple of times, this guy here likes to try it, call me snowy and stuff. It's because of your people in the shop, Phone Quest, yeah. I've got a lot for Phone Quest. And it's stuck, look. But what was it? We were doing DWE. <laughs> and I shouted out on the stage, yeah, big up snowy. Yeah. I'm like, that's just not me. It's stuck. I mean, it's, it's, it's snow. Yeah, yeah. I have to write some bars about that. But I was going to say, how did you break your wrist? Uh, I broke my lock. I don't know if you can see it. Like this one is like flat mashed in compared to this one. It was just a little situation where I was living in it. I was out the back and there was some guy who was over a gate and he's like, come out, why are you parked by the gate? Da -da -da -da. So we're like, all right, cool, we'll move in it. And as I've gone to move, it's come grip me from behind. So then it's gone off and I've ended up with a broken hand. But his face was worse, you gave me. So I ended up, <laughs> it's a dub for me, do you know what I mean? Should have seen the other guy. It's a win for me, Classic. do you know what I mean? So. We're thinking about bringing back more white people phrases, right? Yeah, you should have seen the other guy's a good one. Yeah. What well, was what you said one earlier? Uh, uh, take a hike, buddy. Yeah. Take yeah. a hike. Mates, you had a good one as well, I think. At the end of the day, that's the one I liked. That's, that's a, yeah. At the end of the day. That's more of a British one, I feel, though. Is that a British one? Is it worse? Do British people say I it? I don't feel like Americans are saying that too tough at the end like of the day. Are English people saying it? Because I just hear No, I feel like it's a forgotten one. That needs well, to come back, though. At the end of the day, do you say that? From now and then. But when man is saying at the and end time's of the day, time. you know, man are dropping scriptures after that. <laughs> Do you get me? You know, like, Once yo, I need to tune moon. in. No, but no, oh, I'm from, when I'm from blue, here, yeah. people say yeah. at the end of the day, like, they're about to go in. Yes, that's what no, it is. but they don't go in. Ah, they don't. It's go missing in. the going in, bro. At they, the end they of the day, right, the it's a good day. saying. No, we it's can all agree on that. Yeah. At the end of the day, it's a good saying. Right, Mace, I need you to possibly clear the air on something a second. So I read a comment on YouTube, and someone was alleging something pretty serious. They said, I was in the Sand Martin, before the Cardiff City game, and I saw this guy talking about you. Yo, I know the comment. Bro. Walking around trying to sell packs of Amber Leaf. Do you deny this? No, <laughs> 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 yeah. nah, people try to terrorize me. <laughs> people try to terrorize It's funny because, like, I, I will, I pull up to the Sam Martin and I have a pint in that, but. Yo, bro, I've never sold down belief in my life, bro, so I just... Yeah, bro, find this guy valid. Yeah, people are wild. I wish I didn't throw that packet of unbelief over there. Cause... Yeah, no, Mason is... Yo, wait there, wait there. there. What video was he commenting on, bro? How much are you selling them for? <laughs> <laughs> nah, that's funny. I remember seeing the comment and thinking, yo, nice try. Nice try, you fool. But now everyone thinks you sell unbelief. <laughs> like he thought he done something with that. He did because it got brought up in this interview. So <laughs> word on the street, you know, word on the street. Well, you've, you've cleared the air now, so yeah, heard it here first. What's it mean? Uh, all right, final question now for everyone. Um, in fact, we kind of I might join join two together. So why is uh, Larix Entertainment and um, Silk Crown Studios? Why are things like that so important for the future of Welsh rap? because it 
puts it's a platform it, it, it's a <coughs> platform like larynx is a platform that shares everything that's going on in the scene and naif is like well silk crayon is like a pillar that offers services like music videos um recording um they also like mentor the the youngsters coming up as well so i think they're both things that'll add to the future of the state of music in the country do you get me no dave's doing the same man this is from when i literally who, who is sorry? dave i larynx dave acton like I come up when I first literally it don't matter who you are in him, Wales like he'll catch on to you and he'll he'll, he'll push your thing, it don't matter what genre you're doing or whatever. Like he got love for for the world scene. So people like him pushing it is gonna that's really important for it because not many people pay much mind. But Dave has since I've been doing it like four years now and he's everything I've dropped he's pushed. Yeah, so. he don't miss he don't miss a beat. Oh, yeah, you can like yeah. if you don't know anything about Welsh music you can definitely just go on to his page yeah. and go on larynx and do your research like and you'll you'll get clued up quickly. Even and if you yeah. wanna know who does who's done this track, this track, just go on larynx and find it all. You know Wales, I mean? Wales is like a we're a big country, yeah? like despite what like people might think there's a lot of people in Wales, there's a lot of talent and there's not really the infrastructure for people to, to go about doing things the way they, they might want to. So People like uh, Nathan Silkrayon and Rue and, and then David Larynx, they're providing platforms for people to actually think, oh, maybe I can do something, maybe there's a place for me to, mm. to grow my thing, do you know what I mean? Because without them, there's, there's, there's not a lot, do you know what I mean? But the, the people with talent is in abundance, so, yeah, very important. Powerful stuff, guys. Now, that that's the end of my questions. Does anyone have anything else they need to get off their chest or promote or just say? What do you think of Nadwa? <laughs> Good question. Um, he's all right. He's a nice guy. I think he's found some some uh, inspiration from from people like me. I think. <laughs> ah, yeah, <laughs> no, yeah, just kidding. Yeah, no, he's on. he's one of my uh, he's one of my top top guys. To be I fair. really like him, and I I like the way he does so deep research. Like mm -hmm. it's crazy. And I like he doesn't really ask questions. He just says something. Yeah. He yeah. just like yeah. drops like yeah, yeah like Steve fish bosh. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you know what I mean? Bish Bosch Gyms. Yeah. 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 yeah, exactly. I don't know anything else for you, to be fair. <laughs> Neath. There we go. Neath. 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 Do they call that like the smelly egg town or something? Does it still no, smell bad? That's for Talbot. It's next to Neath. Yo, uh, you didn't like that, did you? You didn't like that, did you? Yo, yo, to be fair, yeah. I'll Smelly egg town. Neath yo. isn't the smelly one, but Talbot smells in it, but Neath is like. Right, okay. The, Neath, the place. Neath, Neath is stinks. like. Do you know when. Do you know when you talk about like you like you have a dream and you think about that place, the hill and mm. like the beautiful don't even spots? Gas. Yeah, yeah. And it's like that's where I belong. Mm. Don't gas. That's Neath. Don't that's gas. Yo, don't listen to it. Yeah. It's not. That's not Neath. Neath, 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 Neath is it's yeah. Not. You go Neath, it's still got like how to value. You go Neath, yeah. You gotta like staple your <laughs> shoelaces to your shoes. What's going on right now? Five man. What's on going on right now? <laughs> nah, like, nah. This is this is Welsh on Welsh crime. To be fair, I think I think the place Luke is talking about is is Town Hill, right? Oh, oh my God. beautiful spot, yeah. <laughs> 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 I used to live in Town Hill. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Listen, what's, what's it like? Yeah. What's yeah. it like? Be yeah. Better than Neath or not? God's land. Um, no. Nowhere's better than Town Hill. Absolutely Let me tell you not. something now, yeah? Yeah. Oh, yeah. All my Town Hill boys, if you're watching this here, yeah, come on. Uh, Town Hill is the best. <laughs> anywhere Town Hill is the best. Go anywhere they know about Town Hill. Do you know what I mean? I had a nice time in Town Hill. Nice place to live. Not yeah. as good as Neath, but it's good. Yeah, way better than Neath. Uh, yeah. We're gonna go on for we got a car journey back to Neath after yeah. this, so we're gonna it's town over. We better wrap this up before we start some sort of violence yeah. in this van right now. Wales is good. We all can agree on one thing. Wales is, is the best country in the UK. Mm -hmm. Yes. Thank you, Luke. Thank you, Mace. Well, well, Thank you, Snow. Joe. I'm gonna do the same time three to one. Thank you, Joe. Thank you, Joe. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs>